in the voicemail you said something about you lost four hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Is that correct? Um, I've lost um, yeah, four hundred seventy thousand dollars. Whoa. Fished. Poor lady, dude. We're yeah. gonna help her out. Is available? Um, yes, yes. Is it, this is this is Mo with socialcatfish.com. Uh, you left a couple voicemails for us. So what's going on? What 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 can we help you with? Well, um, I've been badly scammed. Okay. And um, I'm not talking about pennies. I'm talking about three years of of lies and bullshit and hell and I love yous and 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 I can't wait to come home and we're getting married. I even have a stupid wedding dress. Have you met this person? And, um, have you ever met this person? What? Have you ever met this person? Um, like seen them physically? Like in like met for coffee or anything? No. So this is all online. Yes. In the voicemail, you said something about you lost four hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Is that correct? Um, I've lost, um, yeah, $470,000. My home in Washington. Um, when you said you sent money to two, did you send money to two different people or one person? It was to several people because he kept having me put money into Bitcoin accounts. Quick tip. If someone asks you to send money through Bitcoin, don't do it. It's a common platform that scammers use on victims and it's non-refundable. Gotcha. I later figured out they were Bitcoin accounts. Okay. But he was using mostly Bitcoin. Okay, and... And I asked him one time why he was doing it, and he says it's because it's easier to pay people with Bitcoin. Sure. Yeah, a lot of scammers are using Bitcoin these days. Do you FaceTime with this person at all, or do they give you excuses as to why they can't FaceTime with you? Like talk, like talk on a video call? Do you guys ever do that? Um, twice, but both times... The, well, it was bad reception. It was, it was fake. It was fake. Yeah. So, it was, so it was, I, I'm assuming, it, just from what you've told me, I'm assuming that you you're probably talking to somebody that's not named Sam Woods or Scott mm. Woods, whatever you said. That's probably just a fake, made up name. You're you're most likely probably talking to somebody overseas that's that runs these scams. Um, if you have an address, so you have an address that's in the in the states, which is which is good because they may be able to do something for you but usually a lot of people are dealing with people overseas you know and they're sending money to Nigeria or South Africa and and I'll be honest like if you send money overseas to these people you'll never ever 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 see even a penny back from it since you are sending money to the states and you know you're getting fake checks from Arizona and you know you're you're sending money to people that are you know in the states you may have a chance of recouping some of it, maybe, you know, I don't know. Okay, most of the money that I gave him, he was having me deposit into bank accounts, Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, um, City Bank, into Bitcoin accounts. Okay, I mean, yeah. So all my money was you, into you, you, Bitcoin accounts. So you'll, you'll definitely never get the Bitcoin money back. That's just how Bitcoin works. Once it's sent, there's no way to refund. There's no way to... There's no way to, you know, charge back that payment. Any of the ones you sent to Chase or America, Bank of America or any other banks in the States, you may have a chance of getting those back. But the Bitcoin money, that's going to be a wash. There's no Bitcoin. Nobody owns Bitcoin. It's just it's just a payment processor. There's nobody to tie it to. There's no names that's attached with Bitcoin. There's no addresses. There's no Social Security. There's nothing that attaches a person to Bitcoin. And that's why these scammers use it because... Later on, when a situation comes up like this, when somebody catches them, it, the the money's already clear, free in their account, and there's no way to get it back. So then I'll never see my money back then. Not the Bitcoin money that you sent, no. It was all Bitcoin. Oh, I thought you sent some... Some of the Bitcoin accounts were in my name. He was using my name and and my information and some and and making me take pictures of the. Deposits, what I made him. Yeah, anything you sent with Bitcoin, uh, um, I, I hate to break it to you, but um, no money that you sent with Bitcoin will, there's nobody to contact to reverse that charge. That's just how Bitcoin works. So, yeah, if you send it all through Bitcoin, then I hate to break it to you, but you will not see a dollar of that back.
That's why these scammers use Bitcoin is because they know there's it's not traceable. There's no way to refund it. No, there's nobody's attached to that Bitcoin account. It's just a weird number that's like a 16 digit number with letters in it. Um, uh -huh. That's right. that's who that money was sent to. QXCZ543321. That's that's who owns that money now. Not a person. And the banks don't know about it. Nobody knows about it. The government doesn't know this money was sent. The banks don't know. Nobody knows. It's just it goes from point A to point B without any middleman in the middle. You, you can't. You have to take everything for the grain of salt from this guy. He's he's sending you fake checks. He's you know he's send, He's been lying the whole time. So why would this one statement yeah. he makes be true? You know what I mean? He's already lied 99 out of 100 times. So that this is probably yeah. fake as well. So yeah, you need to go to the police. I have a meeting I have to go to. But if you have any more questions, you know, you can give us a call back or email us in and, and we will we'll do anything we can to help you out. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for calling. Thank you for calling me. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. We have many more crazy catfish stories to share with you weekly. Catfished.